Yo guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to make recipes for Minecraft and also change recipes. And what I mean by that is crafting recipes, smelting recipes, smithing table recipes, stone cutter recipes, all of that good stuff. So make sure to follow along to learn all of that. Before we start the tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more of this kind of content. And um, so yeah, let's hop right in. So what you need for this is this um, 1.16 data pack template. I'll put the card in the top right of the screen. Um, to a tutorial how to get this data pack and stuff. There is a link in the description. This is literally how you download it I just put it to my desktop and what you want to do with this is extract these files uh, to your desktop um, or wherever you want and as you can see now it's in this folder there are two things in here i explained it in that video so if you want to know what is what this all is make sure to go and watch that one i'm just going to show you how to get the recipes to make this tutorial flow a little bit better i'm not going to show you how to make the data back all over again because i made a separate tutorial on that so for the recipes you want to go into the data folder and first I'm going to show you how to change vanilla recipes and then I'm going to show you how to make, make new recipes. So to change them you need to go into Minecraft folder. And there is a lot of stuff in here for other, other stuff and you want to get ready to create a new folder called recipes. I forgot that um, in this data pack but it's not too difficult to add. Uh, you can go in this if you want and in here we're going to put all the recipes. So now how you need to change the recipes is get the name of the recipes. So for that we need to press windows and R and type percent app data percent and enter and in here you want to go to the minecraft folder then go to versions here you want to select the version um, you want to play in so i'm going to choose 1.16.2 the latest version go in there and then you want um, to go into 1.16.2.jar um, and you want to open with winrar and yeah you want to have winrar for this so there is a download link in the description to this site um, so make sure to download it you can also install 7-zip, but I think WinRAR is a little bit better for this kind of stuff. The recipes are located in Data, Minecraft again, and then Recipes. And in here are all the recipes. So I'm just going to choose a random one, like... Let's change the recipe of bread. So first of all, we're going to look at what kind of crafting recipe this is. And it's a crafting shaped. So what you want to do is go to the link in the description, and there I have a lot of base bins. Smelting recipes, crafting shapeless, crafting shaped stone cutting and smithing um, so this was a crafting shaped as you can see select all of these and copy and what you want to do is go into the recipes folder create a new text document and now the name is important so as you can see this is bread.json so we want to name this bread.json um, so first bread and then the txt you can change change to json and enter and it will uh, ask you if you really want to uh, change the file name extension you can do that it's no problem and then uh, you can double click and uh, paste the crafting shape in here so I'm going to explain how this works so first here you see nine hashtags and this this is just a, um, every hashtag is just the key for the item this hashtag you can see it's just a minecraft item so if I made this wheat now you need to get nine wheat in the crafting table to get um, bread like that so this is kind of the crafting table i hope you see it is the first slot the second slot the third slot and um, so on so we are going to change this to the vanilla recipe first as you can see this is the vanilla recipe three wheat and then you get one bread so you can also change the count to whatever you want like three you can also add more ingredients and for to, that, to do that you need to copy this paste it below and make sure to add a comma here for example we can add some dirt like that make sure to change the key to like x and we are adding an x here and if you save it and close it this is just a random example recipe as you can see it's in minecraft recipes so what you want to do is create a world i have a world here recipe tutorial nothing special just a creative um, world just made and what you want to do is go again to dot minecraft and then you want to search for saves and then the world that you just made um, recipe tutorial right here and then you go into data packs and what you want to do is drag this data pack in here like that and you can enter your world then 
and it will load the uh, data pack. So we just made a new bread recipe with 3 wheat and 1 dirt. So we're just going to check if it actually works. And it does, we get 3 bread. And let's see if the old recipe works. Nope, it's moved. And that's how you change a recipe. Now I'm going to make a new recipe. So for that you go into your example or whatever you named it um, instead of Minecraft. In here there is already a recipe folder. And we are going to create a new text document. Call it, we're going to make a recipe for diamond ore. So this name does not matter, I can name this whatever I want actually. But it's just easier to name it <laughs> um, what recipe is for, um, just if, if you want to find back and stuff. So name it .json, click yes again. And we're going to make this a shapeless recipe. So we are going to go to paint bin again, crafting shapeless, and copy all of it into our diamond or the JSON, paste it. And uh, we want um, a diamond as an ingredient, and the result is diamond or but we want to add something else so just copy this paste it below and add a comma of course and then we can change the count let's change it to two don't do that by the way yeah i want to change this to stone and don't do this by the way one diamond for two diamond ores that's just infinite diamond but whatever and let's save it and let's test it now so if you put this in as you can see it does not work it's a shapeless recipe so it doesn't matter why is that because we need to reload it slash reload and it's reloading and now we should now it should work we can put it in as you can see two diamond ores you can put this wherever you want because it's a sh shapeless recipe and it's really useful right there we have t two diamond ores so i think you get the point for everything i'm still going to show you all of this stuff just to explain it a little bit but it's not too difficult i want a recipe for chainmail armor and I want it to be leather with an iron ingot, like that. So let's do it like that and then chain will be here. So what you want to do is go to your, your uh, own recipes again, this, this is a new recipe, chainmail does not have a recipe yet. Create a new text document again, chainmail display. This is a smithing table recipe, so go to smithing, copy and paste. So as base item we want leather, just plate if you don't know these names you can go into minecraft press ctrl and h and now it's hidden for me and if you press it again it's shown as you can see at the bottom chainmail underscore chest plate leather underscore chest plate as you can see the normal name is leather tunic but the actual name is minecraft um, colon leather chest plate um, some of these can be a little bit confusing but just so you know and as a second item the addition you want an iron ingot and the result will be our like that and i hope i didn't do anything wrong if you're not sure of if something doesn't work you can also paste it in the json validator and uh yeah this is a valid json so let's quickly do slash reload and let's test the recipe oh by the way i cha i accidentally put an e right there um yeah it didn't work so slash reloads and now it works there we go we have a ch we have a smithing recipe let's quickly go over to furnace so if you smell chainmail in a in a furnace you get iron nuggets and i want to make it so you can smelt diamond armor as you can see this is not a thing right now so let's just let's make it really quick by the way i recommend Again, chainmail chest plate. Many people are going to confuse this with normal crafting, so just add like smith smithing. If you look at all the vanilla recipes, you see there is a lot of stone cutting, also campfire cooking, and smithing is in there too. Smelting, smoking, and stuff. A smelting recipe for a diamond because that's going to be the result. Diamond, diamond underscore smelting. Dot Jason like that. Yes, we want to keep it. And then we are going to paste smelting recipe um, like that. So the ingredient is going to be diamond chest plate. We're not going to make this for every armor piece because that would take too long. And the result is going to be Minecraft diamond, not diamonds. And you can change the experience. So let's do one. The cooking time, I'm just going to leave this as default. By the way, if you want a blast furnace recipe, it's going to be blasting. And if you want a smoke recipe, it's going to be smoking. 
and then of course the cooking time is going to be faster um, usually it's twice the speed so if you want to make it um, for smoking um, of course with the diamond chest plate that wouldn't really be too smart but if you want to make if you don't like to make a blasting recipe for this change the cooking time to like half the speed or whatever you want I'm just going to leave it at smelting oh also instead of um, smelting you can also do campfire underscore cooking this usually takes a lot longer so it changes to like 600 is like default but again I'm just going to do smelting save it we're or go to slash reload like that and let's see let's get some coal and like that the diamond chest plate is smelting into a diamond this is again not a good deal but just for the tutorial it's and like that we got the diamond as you can see from one end side to get one stair and this is clearly smaller so I don't know what is up with this but whatever. So we're going to use stone cutting for this one, copy and we're going to change it again so go back to Minecraft recipes. Now we want a new text document and here the names are important again so, so let's quickly find the stone cutter recipe for end side stairs. As you can see and the side stairs from and the side stone cutting. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is going to be it. It's a really long name, so I'm going to copy it, I'm going to paste it here, and change it to adjacent file. Um, click yes, and paste everything in here. So the ingredient is going to be and the site, and the result is going to be and the side underscore stairs. And we're going to change the count to 50. You know what? We get 50 stairs out of that. So, and let's quickly reload. Get our andesite. And let's put one in. And there we go, 50 andesite stairs. That's completely normal. <laughs> and uh, I think I covered everything. And um, there's a lot of smelting recipes, but these are actually just the same. Just change the smelting to or blasting or smoking or campfire cooking. And the rest I'll explain it. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did, make sure to let me know in the comments. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more of this kind of content. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.